let's take a look and see how this is going to pan out. I'm just, I'm just really curious as to what's going to happen here. Probably not the mode of transportation I would choose in this weather, but I'm not a professional. This guy, this guy is. Cool. All right, that's impressive. Hats off to him. A tip of the cap to you, sir. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on weather-wise right now because we still are going to continue to see snow falling as we go through the overnight tonight. That wind is still going to continue to blow. This area of low pressure has still quite a bit of moisture associated with it. Probably going to put down another five centimeters. He wiped out, by the way, but he's okay. Uh, we're looking at some of that heavier snow still falling across the north end of the city. Winter storm warnings, those are the spots that are up in pink. Snowfall warnings for the areas that are in white. So that's 15 centimeters plus of snow within 12 hours. And then the winter storm warning is the wind and the reducer's ability added into the mix. All right, let's talk about what the setup's going to be here for us as we go through the overnight tonight. 10 o'clock, we're still into the snow. We're going to hold on to that snow until about 3 or 4 into the morning. So as we advance this, you'll see we start to work some breaks in there. But by the morning commute, the snow is done, and we should be able to be in cleanup mode as we make our way into that morning commute. So you can see we'll get into some clearing conditions as we go through the day on Tuesday. It's just going to be that cold weather that arrives Tuesday and continues right into the uh middle part of the week and we're talking some pretty nasty and dangerous wind chill expected so drier conditions lake effect snow for the snow belts steering clear of us here into the gta here's the breakdown for us for that potential of some of the snowfall for the area again another seven centimeters possible on top of what we have down already for the north end of the gta still another nine possible in toward orangeville and this is sort of what the uh the rpm forecast model is hinting at so this is in addition to what is already on the ground but by the morning commute there should be enough time that a lot of the plows will be out there there are going to be some delays but on the major expressways i don't expect too many delays there could be a few spots out toward brampton that get into some blowing snow issues uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that then we're talking about some extreme cold coming our way with very frigid wind chills we're looking at wednesday and thursday wind chill between minus 25 and minus 40. we may see some school boards considering cancellation due to the cold Let's take a look at here in the seven day forecast and what you can expect. We're talking minus 17 for a daytime high on Wednesday, minus 14 on Thursday, and then warming up as we get into the end of the weekend. We'll even be looking at a few rain showers possible there for Super Bowl Sunday. That's a check on your forecast.